All right, welcome back. This is my MTB Slam video for June of 2016. Um, ordinarily, I don't do a, or I haven't been doing an intro for these things, um, but just a little explanation. So we'd gone out the night before, and if you watch my uh, Twilight Top Water video, uh, you'll see us out fishing uh, top water right at sunset and after uh, on the 4th of July. Uh, this video starts the next morning. Um, I start off throwing the Castake BD Frog out of my MTB Pro box, and uh, I'll let the results speak for themselves. The video kind of talks about that. Uh, after that, uh, the video picks up almost five hours later. Uh, really, really slow morning. Uh, we're, we tried fishing shallow, tried fishing deep. Uh, no real luck. And uh, finally, get a fish. And uh, just watch, watch the video up to that point. Frog fills with water too, really bad. Well, he hit it. Didn't eat it, but he hit it. Saw him come up and get it. That was cool. Okay, all day, finally get a fish. Good news is, caught it on the trip worm, Bass Munitions trip worm, and the uh, Daiichi hook. I lost the bigger hook earlier in the day. This is the little one. They hook pretty good. It's a good fish. Had two of these worms get tore up. Ooh, yuck. Leeches in the roof of the mouth. Nasty.
there it is. About a pound, pound and a half. Good little fish. I'll be dang, that's a spotted bass. Got a rough patch on his tongue like a spotted bass. Huh. That's interesting. Fish on. That was awesome. The dink, but that was fun. All right, so I got this little guy on the live target top water. And he hammered it as soon as it hit the water. I hadn't even twitched it the first time. Okay, go find your big brother. Alright, so afterwards, uh, tried a little bit longer. I threw the little Thunderhawk swim bait. Um, my overall take on that is uh, the bait's got potential with one exception. The one real problem I found with the bait was there's no keeper on the jig head. So uh, bluegill nips at the tail, something like that. You set the hook and you get your bait back and it's all slid down the hook and you got to re-rig it. So uh, pretty high likelihood you're going to end up tearing up one of the little swim baits. Um, so Thunderhawk, if you're watching this, add, a, add some kind of bait keeper. Uh, just a little Z-Bin wire keeper for that thing would be perfect. Uh, no need to go with a whole a whole lead uh, lead barbed keeper. But uh, anyway, so uh, the only the baits I didn't catch anything on out of the box. I didn't catch anything on the thunder that Thunderhawk swim bait, and that was something else in the box too. Oh yeah, the jig. Um, I threw the jig a good bit towards the end of the day. Uh, there's a hump out in the middle of the lake that I've caught fish on. In the past, um, I put a uh, Reaction Innovations um, Kinky Beaver in Watermelon Red, I believe, as a trailer um, on that flat top jig head, and uh, or flat top jig. And I threw it eh, about half an hour, uh, but again, it was, just, it was so slow. Uh, I haven't seen the lake quite that slow in the middle of the summer. I've been typically been terrific. Uh, on that lake in the summer, so uh, oh well. Got uh, got two fish, and uh, got three of the baits, three of the five baits covered. Anyway, till next time, cheers and tight lines.